In last video, we uncovered the challenges of full-time truck camping, but now we're shifting gears to explore the awe-inspiring positives and the profound transformations that living in a camper has brought to my life, shaping me into the person I never knew I could be. It's an inspiring story, not to be missed. I have to open up an NA beer for this one because it's gonna get real. <sighs> so in my last video, I talked about the challenges of living in a truck camper full time. It's only fair that I talk about the profound ways that living this lifestyle has improved my life beyond measure, beyond what I could have thought. Huh. <laughs> there might be some crying involved. It's good crying. It's good crying. So, yeah, there are challenges, and I went over like 15 challenges, and I'm not painting the actual picture. There are times where I'm uncomfortable. There are times when I struggle. There are times when crap happens, but it makes me a stronger person. I get this sense of empowerment. It's showing me that I'm stronger than I think. Doesn't Winnie the Pooh say that? I think Winnie the Pooh says that. You're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. Winnie the Pooh, very wise, very wise stuff bear. Hey, 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 guys, cut it out. There's horses outside, so they're going a little nuts. By the way, this is one of my favorite parks that I come to. There's hiking, there's horses. So con some context here. This big change came about because I got clear on my vision for my future and what was important to me in life. I wasn't living according to what brought me joy and what was important in life. Living in a truck camper makes it easier to live in alignments with that. I did do an entire video on um, why I live in a truck camper and I went over my whole backstory. So I'm just kind of skim on that. And I'll also link that video here and at the end of this video. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe, like this video. It's free and it helps me out so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>
important. I think that's the appeal for a lot of people just to get out of that rat race, running and surviving and paying and the materialism of our world and just live a simpler life. And it is a simpler life. I just feel lighter, freer, happier without all the crap. experiences over material things. I wanted to be out living life. I wanted to be out seeing things, experiencing things. The desire to be constantly in a different place lets me embrace adventure, novelty, growth. It, it's kind of like being a child again when you experience things for the first time. Like It seems like time stands still. And the novelty of being in a new place, in the desert, in the mountains, in a state I've never been. Just, I feel like a child again. You always have that memory that is going to enrich your life forever. And when I'm old and maybe I can't do this anymore, I still have those memories that I will cherish and love. <laughs> Living this way teaches you to appreciate the essentials like heat and hot water, refrigeration. We take that stuff for granted, but it is truly a gift. It teaches you just thrive with what you really need and value what is really important. I appreciate. It makes me so grateful, so grateful for everything for the little comforts in life, for my camper, for what I have. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Living this way has taught me to be adaptable, to accept what I cannot change. That sounds like we're at an AA meeting, but it's so true. There's so much unpredictability. And just to be able to adapt, you know, the changing weather conditions, I'm trying to outrun a hurricane. The stuff that goes wrong with the camper or the truck. Of course, you can get those lessons in at house. But for me, just doing something radical, walking away from my whole life and living this way has taught me that in a big way. Adaptability. Again, adapt. Ta-da! <laughs> Being okay with being uncomfortable. I have been uncomfortable at times and it's totally okay. Like when I was in a house, if there's no air conditioning, it's like the end of the freaking world. Like, oh my God, emergency, 911, the dogs are going to die. People have lived thousands and thousands of years without air conditioning. You know, you're going to be uncomfortable, but I'm not going to die. There was one time I thought I was going to die, but I did not die. One time I was in Gallup, New Mexico, and it was in the 20s and my heat went out. I took my cozy electric blanket, cuddled up with my dogs, and we were able to survive the night and go on and just troubleshoot my heat and get my heat fixed. It's good to push you out of your comfort zone. This is the only time you learn and grow and change. I think living this way has taught me to be more mindful, to be more in the present moment, to breathe, to slow down, to spend time in nature and appreciate the solitude, the beauty, the quiet. It's just led me to a deeper, deeper appreciation of this world and all the living things in it and all humankind. <laughs> I've met so many amazing people that are so kind hearted. Most people are wonderful. They want to help you. They want to be there. They want to connect. Yeah, I'm not naive. Bad things can happen. There are people that don't have those intentions, but by far, most people are terrific. And also doing YouTube, like, my God, I've gotten so much out of that, so much out of connecting with people through a digital message. That has improved my life so, so much. Ron, can you go get me a tissue, please? Huh? <laughs> Oh,
my dogs <laughs> when I was working a traditional job. They were in for 10, 12, 14 hours at a time. I would be rushing off to call in the operating room. Just being able to spend quality time with them, taking them to the beach, taking them on hikes, um, just seeing them happy. It just brings so much happiness to me. It just brings me so much joy. Freedom. And you hear people say that all the time. Freedom. Now, what does that mean? You are free to make decisions your way and live life your way. In my last video, I talked about decision fatigue. But then on the other side of the coin, my God, how lucky is it to be able to decide those things? The freedom outweighs the decision fatigue for me by far. It's freedom from conformity, freedom to live the life I want to live, to go where I want to go for as long as I want to go. That has brought me so much independence and just opened up my world. It's more than the physical act of moving from place to place. It embodies the liberty to immerse myself in different landscapes, meet new people, have new experiences. When I'm in one place for an extended period of time, I get depressed. When I'm out in the world, I'm so, so much happier. My life just comes alive. And stepping out of the life that I felt like wasn't mine and I was unhappy con trying to conform, trying to go to a job I didn't like, trying to pay for things that I didn't want has made such a profound difference in my life. And I envisioned a life where I can be sharing what I know about living on the road. I could be connecting with people. I can be coaching people and helping them to improve their lives and live their dreams. And I'm doing it. If I didn't move into this truck camper and push myself out of my comfort zone, that would have never, never happened. If you have a dream, do it now. Take the chance now because you never know. Um, when I was looking for a van, there was this woman I was going to buy her van. This was her dream. She put it off. And then when she was finally able to do it, she had a cancer diagnosis and had to sell her van. You don't have to leave everything and move into a truck camper with two dogs, but do what fulfills you. It just seems like we put off so much. And I am guilty of this. I didn't start living this way till I was in my 50s. I was just living in fear and pushing it aside, putting it on the back burner. And by tackling that, it's giving me my dream life. There's still so much more I want to do, but having the freedom to spend time in nature with my dogs, to meet up with friends, to have a campfire, to, to look at the stars, to get up early and look at the sunrise just fills my heart beyond what I could have imagined. I wanted to be able to go to Europe and see my son for you know, almost a month. And I've been able to do all those things because I'm living like this. Because my expenses are so much less than they were when I was in the house. Because I'm living so much more authentically to who I am that my life has improved like thousand percent and I'm still discovering who I am and what I need in life and for everyone that is the road we're on that is lifelong there is never a point where we made it and we figured it all out never <laughs> we're just trying life is practice there's no perfect performance every day we get up we do our best we practice that's the beauty about it we're all on this journey together. Appreciate the good things in your life. There's always good things in your life. Take care of yourself. Self-care is everything. Self-love, self-care, self-respect, everything stems from that. It's only coming from that point that you can truly be there for people, that you can truly give and love from your heart. 
it's coming from a good, pure place in your heart. And, you know, I lived many years with <laughs> resentment. I had to learn to speak up for myself, to respect myself, that I'm worth it, that you're worth it. Everybody's worth it <laughs> just for being here. Yeah, this is getting really profound, isn't it? It was only supposed to be how truck camping has changed my life, but it is really profound. So I'm sending you all love and I hope you go out and you do what inspires you. Even if it's just something really, really small, just do it because you're worth it. You're always worth it. <laughs>